Hello fellow problem solvers. So there I'll be doing a problem from the 2006 IMO, problem number one. I suggest you try this nice geometry problem out for a minimum of half an hour, ideally an hour to an hour and a half, though not more than two and a half hours. If on the other hand you'd like to go along with us, give it a go for the next 15 minutes. I'll draw the diagram, put your first ideas out on paper. Now let's begin. So let's first read the problem. We have a triangle ABC in center I, okay. A point P satisfies this, it's inside a triangle, and prove AP greater than or equal to AI with equality if and only if P is the same as I. So, what do you notice in this problem statement? Well, what I notice is that we have P that satisfies this relationship. And then I, we have a thing we need to prove I, but it's an afterthought. Like, we first have P, like, if I said, like, let ABC be a triangle and let P be a point in it here that this is true. Then we could say we could move this part of the problem to the end and nothing would change. So, and that's what the crux is like. What is this condition telling us? That is the crux of the problem. So, if you haven't done so, I invite you to pause and see what is this for now, five minutes or so. What is this condition telling us? So, now we're going to be doing that. We have PVC, so this angle, let's call this X. So we have PVC, call this angle Z, call this angle, say, A, call this angle B. And we have what? We have PBA plus PCA, so we have X plus Z is equal to A plus B. Okay, what does this give us? And the answer is, well, x plus a plus z plus t plus alpha is 180. So we have a plus b plus x plus z is equal to 180 minus alpha. Another way of doing the same thing would have been to like write instead of a, we would have got this immediately by writing b minus beta minus x and gamma minus z then the condition here, which we have, would be this is equal to beta plus gamma minus x minus z. And so x plus z is equal to 90 minus alpha over 2, or beta plus gamma over 2. All right, so we have that this angle plus this angle, which is equal to this plus this, is equal to 90 minus alpha over 2. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means that this angle here is 90 plus alpha over 2. And I'll pause for five minutes and figure out what does this mean? That this is, that BPC is 90 plus alpha over 2. And the answer is, well, if we just like have any angle here, call this point P, such that this is 90 plus alpha over 2, if this is x, and then this angle right here is going to be beta half plus gamma half minus x, and then this angle will be equal to gamma minus this, which is equal to x plus gamma half minus beta half, and this angle is going to be beta minus x. So the problem condition holds true if BPC is 90 plus alpha half which means this, this condition is equivalent to the condition that BPC is 90 plus half of BAC. Why is this cooler and better? And the reason why is this is complicated. And it follows from a simpler condition that this is 90 plus alpha half. Now, what does this mean for our point P? Well, this means that the point P is on the circle around like this whole circle width, P is traveling around the circle. Like that's what all these points P are going to be. They're just going to be on the circle such that BC on this side has the angle 90 plus alpha half. And incidentally, I is also on that circle. I mean, it has to be because we have P needs to be equal to I when this is true. So now 
I invite you here to pause for another 10, 15 minutes and ask yourself, what is the next thing that we sort of have to do, improve? And then try to go ahead and improve that. Now here's a better diagram. Okay, so now what do we have? We have this point P that's on this arc, in this circle. And now we need to have, we, we're seeing really that I, on this arc here, that I is the closest point to A. Now in general, when you have a circle and a part of the arc of that circle, or actually not even a part of the arc, we're like looking at the circle, which point is closest to A. And we need to prove that that is I for this specific circle, for the circle around BIC. That is what the problem really is asking us to prove, that I is the closest one. Just like rephrasing that. And if you, so now let me ask you a general question. If you have a point and a circle, what is the point on this circle that is closest to this point? You have a point X, what is the point Y such that it's closest to the circle? And the answer is, well, to eat, for you to be able to answer this, you need somehow like define the circle, right? I haven't given you a definition. Like what is the circle? And you can say, okay, let it send a circle with center O in some radius. Now you can say, what is the point on the circle which is closest to X? And I invite you to pause for three minutes and ask yourself, what is that? And the answer is, well, if I take, like it has to be something symmetric, like these are sort of hints, because a circle is symmetric everywhere. And so it has to be symmetric with respect to this line is where like there's some symmetry going on. That if I have a point here and I reflect it over the line, it will still be on the circle, regardless of what x is, because it will have the same distance from O. And now, and it will also then have the same distance to x. So it makes sense to try to prove that it's this point right here. And now how do we go ahead and prove that? Well, if you add another point, call this point y, call this point z. What do we have? How are we going to prove that xy is shorter than xz? Well, we need an equality for geometry. What's an inequality that's somewhat well used? Triangle inequality. So we have by the triangle inequality xz plus zo is strictly greater than, I mean, greater than or equal to unless z is here. This is greater than or equal to x o. With equality, if and only if z is equal to y. Though actually, if we put it on this, or if it's on this side here. But that point will not be closer. That, then we'll have a different situation. But for other points, we have this. And now this implies xz plus zo. But what is xo? Well, that is xy plus yo. This is solving the problem backwards. yo and zo are equal, so xz is greater than or equal to xy. Now, what does this mean here? What needs to hold true for i to be the point that's closest to a? Pause for another five minutes, five, seven minutes and figure that out. And the answer is, what needs to hold true is that AI needs to be collinear with the center of this circle. And this circle is a circle with what? It has a, it says its center is here because this is obtuse. And now let's figure out what holds true for its center. Let's take that center, call it O. And now what do we have? We have the angle here, 90 plus alpha half. So, and then we have this is gamma half, this is beta half. But what do we know for O? Well, we know that BOC is twice the angle over here. And the angle on this side is 90 minus alpha half. Right? So what is the angle BOC? It's twice that. It is 180 minus alpha. Wait, what does that give us? 
Well, it gives us that B, O, C, A lie on the same circle. So this is a circle such that B, O, C, A lie on the same circle. So that's like this, where the circumcenter is. Now, what do we have from the fact that these lie on the same circle? Well, we also have, mind you, B, O and C, O are equal. And that means that these are alpha half and alpha half. This is part of that lemma we did once. So now what do we have? Well, the angle OAC is the angle OBC is alpha half. So O, I, and A are collinear. And now we finish as we have before. Take any point P that's not equal to I. These form a triangle. By the triangle inequality, we have AP plus PO greater than or equal to AO with equality if only, only if, what's it called, APO, APO are collinear, which is true if and only if P is equal to I, because that's AO cuts this internal this chord of the circle in one point and the other one is on this side of the chord. So AP plus PO is greater than or equal to AO which gives us AP plus PO greater than or equal to AI plus OI. These two cancel out and we have AP greater than or equal to AI equality if P is equal to I. And that solves the problem. So it's a nice geometry problem, I think, this one. And I remember the first time I saw the solution, I was like, whoa, what's that? This is cool. Like, how we're using this inequality. And it has this progression of steps. Now, mind you, a principle that we're coming up here that we came to in other geometry problems is you can solve it forwards, then you get stuck. You try to go backwards and forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards. Sometimes you need an idea. Boom, let me try this. Boom, let me try that to connect these two. And that is what we've done here. And as always, thanks for problem solving.